It's review time. I thought it was probably time for me to do a review on my boots. Um, now these are marketed as a gravel boot. I'm not entirely keen on the whole gravel marketing terminology thing, whatever you want to call it. But in all honesty, as somebody who does a bit of bike packing, there is a distinct difference really between, uh, especially with footwear um, from mountain biking. And uh, I certainly on my last trip to Wales would not have wanted to be wearing a pair of mountain bike specific shoes because the soles generally tend to be quite hard, um, a bit more plasticky, where this is a gravel specific boot. And when I turn it over, you'll see why. That sole is fantastic. It really, really is. I think it's called the Vibram Wolf Track Sole. And it complements this boot immensely. Now, many of you will probably have never heard of this company. Um, let alone seen any of their products but they are an Italian company called Crono now these are handmade in Italy just like the Cities are which I'm a massive fan of I've got several pairs of uh, city shoes both for road and mountain bike um, they do do a sort of specific gravel type of boot shoe city but I'm not hugely sold on the design of it and the price is a little bit um, off as far as I'm concerned where these actually were very good I think these cost me about a hundred pound now these have been away with me on two bike packing trips to Wales and the last bike packing trip which I got back from last Sunday was indeed five days of hell on the San Helen way and these boots were tested to the extreme. Now what I have done is I've treated the material here with a bit of Fabsil gold just to give them that little bit of extra water repellency. Uh, they're not a waterproof boot by any means, they are splash proof but they did hold up quite well um, to the harsh weather that Wales has to offer and they are quite a warm boot um, hello and they have prima loft inside of them now I have worn these boots when it was 27 degrees because quite frankly I didn't really have anything else better to wear on my trans Snowdonia trip back in June and there is prima loft within these soles very comfortable boots my only real gripe with the boot is that it is only available in a, a wide fitting they call it a comfort fitting now it's not probably wide like you would think if you've got really sort of you know plate like feet but it is wider than normal and i was unsure about the sizing i'm normally in a city i'm a 43 and a half and I ordered these in a 44 and if I'm really honest about it they are a little bit too big for me so what I've done is I've taken these insoles and um, I've put another insole underneath them in the boot just to sort of fill out the toe box area because they are quite roomy <clears throat> they probably are a genuine 44 like in specialized boot I am a 44 um, but as I said in City, I'm a 43 and a half. Now they have got a, a genuine BOA um, ratchet system. And this is a coated wire. It's not plastic or a Kevlar, it's wire with a plastic coating on them. I was a little bit dubious about how long these sort of webbing type loops would last but you know they seem to be doing okay it's it's stronger than it looks it's the same sort of things that you'd probably find on a tent 
which is obviously subject to quite a lot of strain and pulling. But yeah, they do seem to be wearing quite well. Um, walking in these is very, very nice. Um, it's like a semi-stiff sole. There is some flex within the midsole on this. I would say it's perfect. But the grip is absolutely brilliant. So if you're a bike packer, I don't know if you're a long-term bike packer you go away for months and months and months i don't think i'd be buying anything like this purely because of the boa failing you know if you're in the uh the extremes of mongolia or somewhere and you're out there for weeks and months and whatever for some people this years you don't want anything that's going to fail and eventually the boa will fail some can fail quite soon some can last years i've had boas on a pair of specialized defroster boots that lasted for absolutely years but generally speaking, they are a really nice boot. They're very well made. You'd expect them to be well made, being Italian. They've been over some seriously rocky terrain, very wet and muddy. And they've shown no signs of delamination anywhere whatsoever. Absolutely zero. Would I buy another pair? Absolutely would I buy another pair. But you have to be aware of the fit. I've got skinny feet and they don't fit brilliantly um i should have really probably purchased a size 43 43 5 i'm not sure they do half sizes but um yeah very very easy to get on and off um extremely pleasant to wear all day and and the good thing about things like this is when you're out bike packing um when i'm camping and i need to get out of the tent in the middle of the night you can put these on really easy, just in bare feet, you know, because you've got so much flexibility in this sort of neoprene booty that's on it. And it just, it is a dream to wear if I'm really honest about it. But as I said, the only drawback is it is a slightly wider fit. So if you've got slightly wider feet, then you will love it. Um, there are some weird indentations across the front here on the toe and I think that's due to the boot being slightly too big for me. As I said, there is quite a little bit of room in that toe box. You can see it's, it's quite a voluminous boot. It really is. But, you know, they've had some harsh conditions to deal with. Five days on the Transnodonia, five days on the San Helen, and it is sharp, flinty, slate, rocks... And they've been brilliant. There is just, there's just virtually no wear to them really at all. And this sole is, um, it feels like it's a natural rubber. Very, very grippy. There's not even any cuts in the sole anywhere. None. So yeah, the Chrono Gravel Boot. I would highly recommend this boot. It does a good job of keeping your feet warm. And it also does a fair job of keeping your feet cool and fairly dry. But it has its limitations, so let your expectations be real. It's not a waterproof boot. It's far from it. Chrono Gravel Boot. Definitely, definitely recommended. <laughs>